Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. How about you today? Let's figure out the tale of cars. Hyundai's limited edition i30N hatch ramps up the visual tweaks but keeps performance and handling untouched. Arguably little from the performance package needed to change, so how does the i30N drive N stack up? 2023 Hyundai i30N drive N limited edition. Here it comes. The wave of limited edition, special edition, and potentially collector edition cars from Hyundai's high performance N division. Perhaps not a tidal wave, and more of a trickle right now. Given the 2023 Hyundai i30N stands on its own merits as a stellar hot hatch, it comes as no surprise that this particular special edition is an aesthetic overhaul, rather than delivering any performance or handling upgrades. Still, it's hard not to like the changes. To give it its full, official title, the car we have here is the 2023 Hyundai i30N Drive-In Limited Edition. Not the most elegant or catchy title, but it's the details that matter most. New interior touches and some subtle styling tweaks set the drive and apart. While the i30N might be the oldest vehicle in the N stable, is that any detriment to its potential as a fun hot hatch? I hit the road to find out. How much does the Hyundai i30N cost in Australia? You can get into an i30N hatch from as little as $46,200 plus on road costs. But the drive in limited edition car we have here wears a $53,200 price tag making it about two and a half grand more expensive than a regular i30N hatch auctioned up with a sunroof and premium package that form part of the equipment upgrades included on the drive N. On the road, this works out to just under $60,000 depending on which state or territory you live in. Some of the drive N special items include bronze-colored 19-inch wheels, a specific drive N sticker pack, and matching badging with bronze drive N plates on the front guards, and stealthy black Hyundai emblems front and rear. Inside there's Alcantara trim across the steering wheel, center armrest, shifter, and handbrake. Red seat stitching, red stripes on the end light bucket seats, red seat belts, red drive mode buttons, and a numbered build plaque. The i30 in range offers a choice of 6-speed manual or 8-speed dual clutch auto. And is packed with standard kit like dual zone climate control, wireless phone charging, push button start and performance gear like adaptive dampers and electromechanical limited slip front differential and a raucous variable sports exhaust. Moving up from the base end to the end premium adds in cool and light seats with BMW M-style illuminated end logos, with heating, a heated steering wheel, front parking sensors, rear privacy glass, and rain-sensing wipers. How much space does the Hyundai i30N have inside? Unfortunately, the interior of the i30N is let down just a little by the overall age of the i30 range. While the sporty seats and just-right steering wheel are delights, the dash design and overall ambience fall a touch short of expectations. More on that in a moment. The fundamental basics are good. In the front seats there's a balance of passenger space and sports car snugness. The front seats offer a good amount of grip, with the base holding your bum in place firmly. But still enough room at shoulder level to be able to move around, shoulder check, and the like without feeling hemmed in. The rear seats aren't too bad a place to stay either. The shellback front seats don't eat into knee room. And the relatively high hatchback roof affords a decent amount of headroom for adult occupants. There are a few items missing like rear seat face level ventilation and charging ports. Consider it confirmation that the i30N is all about the driver. In that respect, the seat position feels low and getting set behind the wheel is straightforward. The manually adjustable driver's seat offers a decent range of adjustability including the rarely seen wheel adjusted backrest allowing you to get the angle just right. For me, with short legs but lean arms, it's easy to tuck the wheel away and keep the pedals at a comfortable distance. Interior highlights include dual zone climate control, wireless charging, heated front seats and steering wheel, and Alcantara and leather seat trim. As part of the drive-in package, the i30N swaps its performance blue steering wheel buttons and seat stitching for red highlights, and adds in red stripes on the end light seats and red seat belts for a more cohesive, and dare I say it, more traditionally sporty style. Boot space measures 381L with the rear seats up. The rear seat back folds for up to 1287L of cargo space, however, a chassis stiffening brace means there's no flat floor though it can be unbolted if you really needed the space over the torsional stiffness it provides. 
Does the Hyundai i30 and have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto? Hyundai's infotainment platform displays on a 10.25-inch touchscreen display mounted in a pod that sits proud of the dash. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are both accounted for via a wired connection. The factory system also packs in satellite navigation, AM, TFM, DAB plus radio, and Bluetooth streaming. Sound is provided by a six-speaker audio system. Hyundai's native software is easy to understand and find your way around. A minimalist home screen helps minimize distractions, with quick and easy shortcuts to media and navigation. Plus hard buttons below the display for easy access to different functions, and a central volume knob. End cars also have a dedicated performance menu that can show G-forces, turbo boost and power outputs, track timers, and allows you to set up the custom drive mode. For now, Hyundai hasn't rolled out its newest Blue Link connected infotainment, so the i30 range goes without vehicle locator. Remote unlock, or fuel level checks available on some other members of the Hyundai range. Is the Hyundai i30 an a safe car? Mainstream models of the i30 hatch range are covered by a 5-star ANCAP rating awarded in 2017. This rating applies to hatch models only and does not apply to the i30 sedan, nor the i30N, which are technically unrated. The i30N is equipped with seven airbags including dual front, front seat side, full-length curtain, and driver's knee airbags. What safety technology does the Hyundai i30N have? The i30N comes with safety and driver assist features including autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian detection, blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist with lane following, driver attention warning, rear cross traffic warning, safe exit warning, auto high beam, tire pressure monitoring and manual speed limit assist. Additional features on automatic variants include blind spot collision avoidance and rear cross traffic avoidance assist. Rear park sensors are standard on all grades, but the i30N premium, and drive in, add front sensors as well. A reverse camera, but number 360 degree camera, is also standard. For the most part, the i30 safety systems are well behaved. With features like lane keep assist working with the driver with smooth and natural interventions. Unfortunately, the speed limiter is easy to overrun. And can't always be trusted to stay at the limit you've set as even a gentle downhill run can have you well over your set speed. How much does the Hyundai i30N cost to maintain? Hyundai offers the choice of prepaid service plans or pay as you go capped price servicing. If you opt for a prepaid package, three years will cost $1,005 or up to five years for $1,675. Using pay as you go pricing works out slightly cheaper. Intervals are priced at $299 for years one, two, three, and five and slightly higher at $399 for year 4, that's $897 for 3 years and $1,595 for 5 years. Service schedules are set at 12 month or 10,000 km intervals. And Hyundai's warranty offers 5 years to unlimited kilometer coverage, including non-competitive, untimed track use. Some exclusions apply, including just 3 years of paint finish and infotainment system warranty. But your Hyundai dealer can provide detailed info. The Hyundai i30 and drive-in costs from $1,595 per year to ensure based on a comparative quote for a 35-year-old male driver living in Chatswood, NSW. Insurance estimates may vary based on your location, driving history, and personal circumstances. Is the Hyundai i30 and fuel efficient? Hyundai sets the manual i30NS claimed consumption at 8.5 litres per 100 kilometres, meaning it's no miser. Without stop-start fuel-saving tech, and a big focus on performance, this is to be expected. Unlike the automatic, which can slice through gears quickly around town. The manual tends to egg you on just a little, even around town. As such, you may find you hold gears longer and push fuel consumption up. For me, this resulted in a 10.7 L to 100 km fuel average divided between workday commuting a couple of open road highway runs, and a weekend of upbeat driving on mountain roads. Not too bad for the performance on offer, but hardly setting a benchmark for the segment. What is the Hyundai i30 North like to drive? It's hard to understate, but the i30N delivers driving thrills in bulk. It may be Hyundai's first serious attempt at a hot hatch. But the i30N shows Hyundai has left no stone and turned in its attempt to deliver a serious driver's car from the absolutely ripping exhaust note and the lusty acceleration.
To the Haydn reflexes and engaging handling, Hyundai hasn't just taken an i30 and made it fast. It has reworked every touchpoint that makes a hot hatch, well, hot. The variable exhaust is a masterwork. It pulls the driver into the action with a series of low note grumbles, mid range roars, and snarling crackles between full throttle shifts. Should you opt for a more sedate drive mode, just enough menace without upsetting the neighbors. Tightening noise regulations will see this fast become a trick of the past, so enjoy it while you can. More than just sound effects, the 2.0 liter four cylinder turbo petrol engine shares little with Hyundai's mainstream turbo models. Delivering fat stacks of torque across the rev range and rapid response to varying throttle inputs. Though perhaps not the lightning fast immediacy of something like Honda's newest Civic Type R. The engine's 206 kW peak arrives at 6000 rpm. Giving plenty of space to explore the rev band before the in dash shift indicator lights up. Its 392 Nm of torque, meanwhile, comes online from 2100 to 4700 rpm, offering a flexible band of grunt be it for shuffling around town, or threading close-spaced corners together. Involving handling invites you to explore its cornering ability. The front end is planted and feeds plenty of info back to the driver's fingertips. Sticking resolutely to the tarmac and challenging you to feed more power in. With the electronically controlled limited slip differential up front. It's hard to shake the front wheel loose on all but the tightest corner exits. Of course, mash the throttle from a standstill, or add in wet conditions, and traction is easier to relinquish. While the N rates highly in almost all areas, it lacks for the overall polish of something like a Golf GTI, though its harder edge and more bratish nature are almost certain to appeal to a different buyer demographic. There's also some fine tactility to the steering and accuracy to the gear shift the i30 and yields to the more technical feeling Civic. Be that as it may, the overall setup shows true cohesion. It's a little brutal in its approach at times, but not so much that it's a chore to live with. The suspension tune feels highly daily able, still firm, but hardly brutal. Ramp it up out of normal mode and it removes any superfluous absorbency, making for a serious track-ready ride quality. Should I buy a 2023 Hyundai i30N drive N? The Hyundai i30N is a delightful palate cleanser. A bright reminder of what makes driving a joy, perhaps not with the sparkling purity of something like an MX-5. But the effusive energy of every drive more than makes up for it. Unfortunately for Hyundai, the i30's interior appearance is a bit of a letdown. Not a deal breaker, but in the face of more modern driver interfaces, including in the i30's sedan sibling. The i30N hatch shows its age. That's a minor letdown in the grand scheme of things. With a willing turbocharged engine and grip finding front end more than making up for the ills of a dated interior design. The true issue for Hyundai is the scarcity of the i30N drive N. Just a handful remain on dealer lots around the country. Alongside a similarly small array of the regular i30N hatch, was still. Demand outstrips supply and at present Hyundai says it has paused orders due to overwhelming demand. That's a strong endorsement and a huge disappointment simultaneously. Thank mm -hmm. you.